What is up guys, Randomonium here. We're going to be doing a Warwick gameplay today. I know I haven't been putting out a lot of videos recently and I definitely apologize for that. There's been a lot of stuff that's been going on in my life that has prevented me from putting out as many videos as I would like. Um, but I thank you guys for your support and hopefully this will tide you over for a little bit. We'll be doing a basic beginner's guide to Warwick, kind of showing how you can exploit how strong that uh, Warwick is in the jungle right now, because he is a very strong jungler right now. So if you play jungle, I would highly recommend trying him out. Um, one of the great things about Warwick is that he's pretty strong in, in every part of the game. Uh, early game, mid game, late game. He's very good at dueling early. His mid game power spikes are really strong. And then late game, he can build tanky enough that he can still be very useful in team fights. Um, he's not going to be as useful as like a tank. He's not going to scale as well as a tank, but he's still very strong even in the late game. So uh, a lot of the things you're going to see in this video are tactics that I've learned from other YouTubers and other streamers. You know, people like King Styx, Verkayu, Commando Yi, Valkrin, a lot of really high level junglers. So uh, I definitely want to give credit where credit is due. And if you see a lot of similarity in my tactics, it's because I usually learned a lot of them from, from those uh, junglers. So you can see right now, I'm going for an invade on the red buff. This is usually relatively safe. Um, with Warwick, because most people will start on the bot side of the map. Uh, you definitely need some help from you, either your top laner or your mid laner if you want to do this. You definitely just kind of communicate and chat. In this game, I'm actually duoed up with the top laner, so he definitely moved in to support me and make sure that um, I wasn't going to get collapsed upon. And if you really want to sell the, um, the top side uh, buff steal, you can tell your bot lane to hang back and make it look like that they uh, they leash for you. That can actually really sell it and you can pretty much be guaranteed um, a 3 buff if you do that. So you can see I cleared off his red buff and then I cleared scuttle crap. I left a ward at his red buff so there's pretty much no way that um, Master Yi, who's the guy I'm against in this game, can uh, gank my top laner. So my top laner can play super aggressive, try to go for that early kill, and uh, I'm gonna pretty much be guaranteed a three buff. So I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna clear my jungle, I'm gonna look for level three, and I'm basically gonna be looking for uh, chances to basically uh, proc my W, uh, get that blood scent, and like basically run in really fast and, and kill people. So uh, Master Yi unfortunately did kind of a cheese. I think he went probably like two buffs into Scuttle and then uh, ganked bot and was able to pull it off. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but we'll just keep farming and uh, hopefully things will be all right. My top laner is doing well. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the general way that you want to build Yi, or sorry, the way you want to build Warwick is uh, typically you go press the attack on him and then for the secondary tree, uh, you pick up Celerity and Water Walking so you can get that, that Scuttle Crab control. Uh, you can see I'm coming in right now. I pop my W. And I'm able to get in. The Lissandra misses. I'm able to get my Fear down. She flashes. And we're actually able to get the kill. So that's actually worth. We get the flash. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like LeBlanc died to minions. But we get the flash and we get the kill. Uh, so that's pretty good. And actually you can see that I didn't push that lane because I'm pretty sure Lissandra had TP and I wanted to keep the lane kind of over on um, LeBlanc's side of the map. Yeah, Lissandra's got TP so she immediately TPs back to lane. Um, so we know that both of her summoners are down now. So yeah, so for runes, you want to normally go press the attack, pick up the sorcery tree for your secondary. When you start off as the jungle, you want to go Hunter's Machete first item with a Rejuve bead. That's because Warwick gets uh, a lot of health regeneration naturally through his kit. Uh, and then you typically want to go into Tiamat. That allows him to really uh, speed up his jungle clear. So I know that the flash is already burned on Lissandra, so I'm going to come back around, pop my W. She's able to get her uh, E off. Unfortunately, I didn't play that very well. But I'm basically just trying to tilt Lissandra. Because I know that my... Um, top laner is going to do fine because I'm duoed with him and I know my bot lane is going to do uh, I think they're actually winning right now so I don't feel too concerned so really the only lane I'm worried about is mid lane right now so I'm kind of camping pretty heavily for them right now so Tiamat's kind of uh, not necessarily a necessity on Warwick but it's definitely a good core item to pick up 
people usually go cinder hulk on him you can either go skirmishing saber if you're going up against more of a duelist or you can go chilling smite if you're going up against somebody that you think you can duel without the skirmisher saber uh, and then typically you want to build him full tank if you get really far ahead you can pick up something like a trinity force but in general warwick uh, has enough damage that he doesn't really need that many tank I or many damage items and you want to build him tanky for the late game so that he can kind of you know be that front line for your team so i have enough gold for uh tiamat now and i think i also have enough gold for boots yep got enough gold for boots and i also pick up a vision ward um so now i'm gonna be trying to influence the the map and possibly secure uh, a drake if i can Yi's top side, I see him go over that ward top side. So you can see I'm pathing towards bot side. It looks like Zillion's really low. So I want to make sure I kill him before he gets the Scuttle Crab, and it's an easy kill. So that's just paying attention, uh, seeing that the Warwick, or sorry, that the Master Yi is top side. And uh, I'm going to try and gank mid again, see if I can get some pressure, because I saw that she was low. So you, she uses her. Uh, W on me, I flash, I get the pass through, and I'm able to get the kill. And then I'm also able to clear Raptors, and by this point, the Lissandra's pretty tilted. So, uh, definitely a success for me. So yeah, I'm going to go back to farming my jungle. So the big thing with Warwick is you you got to be really efficient with your time. Warwick clears the jungle really fast, and then his W allows him to really get to... Um, ganks really quickly uh so for those of you who don't know the way his w works is basically anybody time anybody anytime somebody's low health uh he basically gets bonus movement speed and then if you're looking for a gank where the person isn't low health you can activate his w to gain that movement speed anyway but it lets them know that that you're in the proximity uh with a little warning over their head so I'm going back to clear. I'm level 6, so now I'm definitely looking for uh, using my ultimate to engage and kind of get a kill. Looks like I'm going to back first, pick up some items. I think I have enough for uh, uh, bombies right now. Yeah, so I pick up bombies. I'm already 3-0, and um, doing well, uh, and I'm keeping up in a farm on the master key. So I see that Lissandra is bot lane, so I'm going to kind of start pathing towards bot lane and see if I can assist them. As far as team comps go in this game, I'm actually really worried about the Master Yi. I know that I need to close out this game very quickly. Uh, Master Yi will outscale me. And then with the Zillion on the enemy team, that's going to make it really freaking hard to deal with Yi if he gets a couple kills. So I'm trying to be super aggressive while still keeping my farm up. So I'm able to uh, queue through uh, the Zaya and get my fear off of her on her. And that's pretty much a guaranteed kill. So you definitely, whenever you want to engage with Warwick, you always want to queue through the enemy to get behind them, and then you can fear them back into your enemy team. <clears throat> so we'll clear the Scuttle Crab real quick, and uh, we're going to try and get some vision down, uh, potentially looking for a dive on the, um, on the Zillion. You see it's warded. Yeah, and I decided not to go for it because Nami killed herself. So you can see I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly looking for, for ganks. And then as soon as my camps are up, I'm clearing them efficiently. And then I'm trying to get back out on the map as fast as possible. The big thing with jungle, especially with Warwick, is you have to be efficient with your time. That's just so important. You can't fall behind in levels, but you can't just AFK farm. Warwick is not somebody like a Shivana or a Master Yi where you're going to scale into this massive hyper carry if you just like farm like a madman. You need to be proactive with your ganks. Uh, you need to be helping your laners. Uh, I see that both the LeBlanc and Lissandra died, so I go to push out the mid lane because that'll deny some uh, minions for Lissandra and it'll help reset the wave in favor of LeBlanc. So I know that some people will like spam ping you if you do this stuff, but this is the correct play. You want to allow the lane to reset. And we move back up. Uh, me and Camille move up to try and stop the Yi. We catch him. And he flashes and then pops his ultimate, so that's pretty good. And we get the uh, the teleport from Lissandra, so that was definitely worth. 
so we're in a pretty commanding lead right now. It's eight kills to four. The first tower hasn't dropped yet, so that's the next big objective that I'm looking for. If you're able to secure first tower for your team, it causes your win rate to increase dramatically. I think the most recent stats is it's like, if you get first tower, you have a 70% chance of winning. Um, so you definitely want to be trying to play around the lanes that are able to push and get uh, tower damage, try and get a kill, and then help your team push and get that uh, that tower. Echo's going aggressive, so I'm coming around. He comes in, we get the hook shot and also my ultimate, and that's a pretty easy kill. Master Yi is around, so I'm going to try and help the Camille push out. I was a bit early to pop that uh, that E. That was definitely a bit premature on my end. <clears throat> but we're going to try and get some tower damage on, uh, on this tower. If we can, I would love to get first tower gold. I don't think we have the items yet to do it. Camille only has a Sheen. I've only got a Tiamat. So yeah, we can't get it this early into the game. So I know Yi is top side, so I'm going to try and make a bot side play now. I can rotate faster than the Yi, so I'm not uh, not too worried. I see that Lissandra was rotating down, so I'm trying to basically match her. Since the LeBlanc is kind of um, a little... She's getting pushed in pretty hard. Like, she was asking for help a lot, and uh, she's definitely struggling. So I see they're both low, I'm waiting for the wave to crash, and then I'm going to try and set up a dive. So I'm waiting for Kaiza to push. You can see the enemy team is pinging uh, everybody off, I think they know I'm there. Yep, so wave's almost crashing, I'm basically coming in, uh, trying to get them. Yep, easy. So now they're in a pretty bad spot. Uh, we're going to go for this dive on the Zillion, and uh, we definitely want... I want to be the person who takes the tower aggro. Since I'm the tankiest, I missed my ultimate. That was really bad of me. I use my E to get the damage reduction, uh, and I'm able to get out. So, bad on me for missing my ultimate, um, but we still get the kill, and we're going to get first tower as a result of it. I see the E is top side, so instead of backing, I'm going to immediately go to Drake. Um, I have enough sustain that I can take the Drake without too much difficulty. So you can see that instead of being reactive, I'm trying to be proactive against the Yi. Anytime he goes to make a play, I go to try and punish him with something. So he goes and gets a kill. I get two kills, a tower, and a dragon. And now you can see I'm moving up. I'm trying to get uh, the Lissandra to get pushed off a little bit. I think I get a really greedy here. Yeah, I flash the wall, and I don't, I don't respect her damage, and I think it winds up killing me. Yep, yep. So that was really bad on my part. Uh, I hadn't died at that point, and that's a lot of shutdown gold that's going to Lissandra. I know it's just one death, but um, with the changes to how shutdown gold works, that's that's a lot of gold to be giving over to the enemy. So if you have a lead, if you have a ton of kills. Uh, dying is massive. It can be worth like two or three kills worth of gold. So if you're ahead, you can't be doing stupid stuff. It's far more important that you don't die than you get a kill uh, when you're fed because you're worth way more gold than the enemy team is. All right, so respawn. Uh, I got my Cinder Hulk. Uh, I'm going towards, uh, looks like I'm going towards Titanic. Got my boots. Uh, boots one. There's three uh, AP carries on this team. Well, I don't know if you call them carries, but three AP damage dealers and two AD damage dealers. Both the AD damage dealers deal a lot of uh, auto attack damage. So I'm going to be going for, um, and there's a lot of CC on the enemy team, so I'm going to probably be going for like Merc Treads, um, Spirit Visage, and then like a Thorn Mail item. So I'm clearing my jungle. I saw Yi on bot side, so I'm going over to try and take uh, the Rift Herald. You can see that I always have a Vision Ward in my inventory, so that way I can uh, know that I'm going to be safe. The Echo decides to go aggressive, even though we know that Yi is bot side, so that becomes a pretty easy kill for us. Miss my ultimate again, because I'm rushing it. 
So you can see that even though I'm playing really badly and I'm missing a lot of ultimates, just because I'm moving around the map really effectively, uh, I'm kind of dominating. So you don't need to have a lot of mechanical skill to be very good, because I certainly don't have any mechanical skill. Um, you just need to be able to move around the map effectively and kind of put your your um, yourself in the jungler's shoes. Like, I know where the Master Yi is going to be, and that allows me to basically counter his every move um, and kind of always take more on my end than he gets on his end. So I got a kill, I get the Rift Herald, uh, and that allows me to get very far ahead. Like, the Yi's not very far behind. He's 2-1-2. Two, two, but uh, because I've just been moving around the map so much better than him, I'm 5-1-3. I've got more CS. Uh, and there's not much he can do. So I go mid. I push out. Uh, I force out the Lissandra Teleport. Uh, and then I'm just going to basically go back and farm my jungle because all my jungle camps are up. And now I'm going to get even more of a massive lead uh, by doing that. Uh, I think actually I see that uh, Yi can probably die, so uh, that was a mistake. I should have waited till that ward cleared, but I don't think he saw me for some weird reason. Yeah, that was bad as well. We still got him though. I don't well, actually know. His whole team is rotating, so maybe it was good I got stunned because uh, I probably would have gone too deep and died. We forced out his ultimate. Uh, good uh, peeling by the Camille. She winds up having to flash. And yeah, the flash from the Zillion winds up killing me. That was definitely really bad on my part. I should have been more aware. And I should have uh, realized that uh, the entire enemy team was missing on the minimap. And I should have played accordingly. Um, so that's definitely my fault. It's not my team's fault. Uh, I played way too aggressive for uh, how things were going on the minimap. So keep that in mind, try not to blame your team when you die. Usually if you die, that's a mistake that you made and not them. Um, you know, you can't control your team, but you can't control yourself. So just keep that in mind. So uh, enemy team's pushing top very hard. I'm rotating to help. Um, yep, able to get the uh, ultimate onto the uh, Zillion. I wanted to go for a second kill, but I was worried that uh, Camille might get get killed at the very end, so I kind of backed off. <clears throat> and my whole job right now is just protect the tower until the Kaiser gets there. Uh, Lasan, sorry, um, Camille is teleporting, so I'm kind of just trying to keep them interested in me. Just kind of just trying to basically stall them and uh, get them into a, a bad spot. So we get the kill onto Lissandra and go back to farming the jungle. I could go top to help. Uh, I don't think they need my help, so I kind of keep uh, moving around. We got a Drake spawning in uh, less than a minute, so I definitely want to be more on the bot side of the map. That's another thing to keep in mind when you're when you're playing the game. If it doesn't matter what role you're playing, always be mindful when like Rift Herald is despawning. Or uh, when a Drake is spawning, like the fact that we have three people topside right now is not bad at the moment, but it could be bad if they stayed there for another 10 or 15 seconds, because then we wouldn't be set up to do Drake. And we basically could potentially give uh, an objective over for free, and that's something you never want to do when you're ahead. You always want to make the enemy team kind of pay for any objective they go for. So I'm just kind of trying to hold... Um, the tower here. I don't really want to try and fight the uh, the echo. There's no real point. Uh, but now that the LeBlanc is coming in, I feel kind of uh, safer going for it. Yeah, you can see he does a lot of damage to me. So I heal up off some minions. I don't want him to be able to just burst me. And yeah, I don't really want to face check into the echo. So. Uh, my Rift Herald is also almost, uh, I don't have any time left on it. I see that there's a lot of people topside. So I said, okay, this is now as good time as any to pop the Rift Herald. I know that I think the only person who could potentially stop the Rift Herald is the uh, the Yi right now. Because uh, I know that um, Lissandra, Echo, uh, Zaya, and Zillion are all kind of mid or top. So all I gotta do is make sure that the Yi doesn't stop me. So there he is. 
We make sure he can't go near the tower. We get the charge off, and that should be a free tower for us. And we now also have Baron almost spawning. We've got the Rift Herald still pushing in bot lane. Uh, so we can kind of bait that out. I see the Yi uh, behind us, and I see the Zillion. So I'm like, oh shit, we got to get out of here. Good disengage from the Nami. I think she winds up dying. Yeah, the Yi is able to get her, uh, his Q onto her, but I'm able to get out. Yi over chases. Camille's coming. We basically just destroy him. So keep that in mind. If you're playing, like you don't want to over chase because the enemy team will come towards you if you're chasing one of their allies. <clears throat> so yeah, that was bad on Yi, giving us back a kill. I wrap around to Zaya. She's kind of in a really bad spot. She winds up having to flash. Misses her ultimate. So yeah, we're in a really good shape right now. Uh, 624, 137 CS with the 20 minute mark. Actually the highest CS in the game uh, right now. So not bad for a jungler. Um, but yeah, definitely made a few mistakes this game already. I don't like that I'm constantly having to come down here and stop the, um, the echo from split pushing. Uh, the Camille should be able to destroy him. Um, but yeah, I think our lane assignments are a little bit wonky. I should have told uh, Camille to go bot lane um, and just basically match the Echo's split push. That would have been a uh, better use of uh, his time. So we're kind of in a lull right now because we've taken uh, three towers and we can't really push up that much, unfortunately. Um, we're just kind of waiting for the enemy team to make a mistake or, um, for us to reach item power spikes before we actually go for a major objective like Baron or another tower. So I see my team is looking like they're going to fight. I'm pinging them to stop. Thankfully the Echo's not there, so at least it's a 4v4, but I've got a lot of gold on my team. So, uh, I definitely don't want them fighting without me. I'm running there as fast as I can. Master Yi has arrived, Echo has arrived, um, but we're able to get uh, quite a bit of damage down. I'm able to uh, use my ultimate on the Master Yi, get a kill on him. I don't know what the Echo was doing there, but uh, I'll take that double kill. So we get a delayed ace, we're able to push, so that was what we were basically waiting for them, to make a mistake like that. That could have gone really badly for us, um, since I wasn't there, but thankfully my team was able to pull it out. Um, but definitely just keep in mind, before you engage, before you go for that team fight, just just take one last look at the minimap and just see where your allies are, because if the team fight goes on for a long period of time, and your allies are in base, chances are the enemy is going to get there before your ally does, and it can wind up completely costing you the team fight, which can lead into you giving up Baron or giving up uh, towers, things like that. So I'm going back to farming. You can see I, I haven't been very nice about my uh, my blue buff uh, to LeBlanc. I feel like that I'm carrying way harder than she is, and it's probably more useful on me. Um, but yeah. If my, if my mid laner was carrying, I definitely would be giving her a blue buff. I do think I give the, the Kaiza the red buff quite a bit. So I drop a pink ward. I kind of place it, um, nestle it in that corner, because that way they have to kind of overextend a little bit more to clear it if they want to. <clears throat> I want it back right now. I think I have quite a bit of gold, if I remember correctly. Um, but I can't really with... Uh, with them fighting. So my whole job is to basically stop this Master Yi. Uh, unfortunately this lane gets the ultimate down. So I kind of have to disengage a little bit. I'm looking for another opportunity to go in. And we're able to get the Master Yi. So that's Master Yi is kind of my main target because um, if he's down then um, that allows us to basically go for Baron if we win the team fight after that. And Master Yi is kind of a, a huge pain in the ass when it gets to the late game, so you definitely want to focus him. So we wind up winning, I think the LeBlanc... Oh, she gets a kill. That's impressive. Almost dies. Uh, I'm kind of going a little bit too hard here. 
I think I'm getting a little bit too greedy. But uh, it looks like I don't get punished for it. So yeah, that was probably a mistake on my part. There's no reason for me to try and 1v2. Uh, thankfully, the enemy team does not punish me for that. So I've completed Titanic. I've completed uh, Merc Treads. You can see I'm going towards Spirit Visage next. Uh, and I did that because uh, the only person on their team that was doing really well with the, was Lissandra. Uh, and then I found myself having to basically 1v1 the Echo a lot. So I figured that MR was more valuable to me than armor. Um, especially since the Yib was struggling a little bit and the Zaya was struggling a little bit. So go back, uh, finish up Spirit Visage, start going towards Thornmare, Thornmail. Uh, so I wind up getting uh, the first component, and uh, yeah, so now I get the Grievous Wounds. Um, so basically, if Master Yi tries to attack me, he's hurting himself. And uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty good build right now. You can see that I'm I'm quite tanky. Echo's still slip pushing. Camille goes to stop him. Uh, I know that the Master Yi is rotating, so I'm trying to turn this into a 2v2. I get there just a little bit too late. Nami does a good ultimate there. I know the Master Yi is going to go for her, so I'm trying to get there. But Nami's kind of running away from me, but she lands a good bubble. And, yep, that's a very important kill, because that's right when Drake was spawning. So, uh, I think we can get Drake. Yep. As you can see, another pink ward. <laughs> another vision ward. I've always got vision wards in my inventory. I've actually, I picked up three because I figured that we were potentially going to be going for Baron soon. Um, so as a jungler, you always want to have vision wards. You never want to give the enemy a chance to smite steal. And the best way that you can deny a smite steal is to um, always put a vision ward down in the pit. That way, that uh, if they try to ward it, they can't. Essentially, it'll it'll basically disable the ward. So there's not much we can do right now. Um, we're basically going to use the LeBlanc as bait, and if they show up to stop the LeBlanc, then we're going to go for Baron. So we see the Echo and the Zillion uh, mid lane. We basically tell LeBlanc to push. Uh, and she's basically the bait. As soon as we see Zaya, we know that it's ours. No questions asked. So, if you're the bot laner, you cannot go bot lane uh, when Baron is up. If it's like past the 25 minute mark. Uh, you need to have your top laner or somebody with TP uh, go to bot lane. Because if you go to bot lane, then that's pretty much a green light for the um, enemy team to go for Baron. Which is exactly what we did. So good job by the LeBlanc not to die. Uh, I'm going to try and push with the Camille and we're going to basically, you know, get as many towers as we can. Because towers, I think people really undervalue towers. Everybody thinks, oh, it's all about the kills and things like that. No, it's it's about the towers. This is a bit uh, ambitious by the Camille. I don't know why she's diving. I think she's going a little bit too ham. I should not have followed her. I wind up having to flash. Yeah, we wind up blowing a lot of flashes. Uh, we are able to get the tower, but that was not pretty at all by any stretch of the imagination. I think the only reason why we were able to win that is because we're just already so far ahead. So my job right now is just basically stand next to the Kaiza, make sure that nobody can get on him. I go for the Master Yi, end up getting the kill. I'm kind of going a little bit too ham too. Um, yeah, we're having some fun. I realize that the uh, Camille is dead, so I just kind of run through uh, tower. I'm tanky enough that it doesn't bother me that much. And now we're kind of getting into the beginning of the end for this game. Lissandra goes for an engage, but I wind up fearing her at the last minute. Uh, and I think this is about the end of the game. So yeah, that's, that's Warwick in a nutshell. His early game is super strong. He has a ton of sustain in the jungle. You can go for uh, invades on him, basically steal their topside buff and three buff. 
Um, though you need to be very careful if the enemy mid laner or the enemy top laner goes missing at level 1. That means they are rotating to you and you need to get out immediately. I don't care if you're about to kill it, just get out as fast as possible. Um, and then Warwick is amazing with his W. Um, just because he gains so much movement speed, so much attack speed, uh, it makes him extremely hard to duel, it makes him extremely hard to kill, because he gains increased healing when he's low health. Uh, typically max W first on Warwick, and then Q second, and then E third, obviously. Uh, once Warwick hits level 6, his ultimate is really strong, and people are like, well, how can, like, how can you miss a Warwick ultimate? It's actually surprising how easy it is to miss Warwick ultimate. Um, my advice to you guys, since, you know, I'm obviously horrible at the game, and uh, I have difficulty hitting Warwick ultimates, is to take a breath, like, breathe out before you ultimate. I don't know why, but that winds up, like, relaxing you, and you, you, you don't, like, fat finger it, essentially. A lot of times, that's kind of like the rule of thumb with a lot of skill shots is just to um, don't hold your breath when you're trying to do that. Otherwise, you're going to tense up and you're more likely to miss. And then the big thing with all junglers, especially Warwick, is that you want to make sure that you always have something to do. You're always moving. You're never wasting time. Like Jungle is all about efficiency. It's all about... Um, just being one step ahead of the jungler, just being in the jungler's head and just always just moving, moving, moving. Whenever he tries to make a play, you always take more than him. You know, if he gets one kill, you get two kills. If he gets a tower, you get a tower and a drake. You just always want to um, basically take more than he than he gets. And that's basically, you know, that's jungling in a nutshell. It's just all about efficiency and pathing. You can see by the end of the game. 216 farm and a 30 minute game uh wound up with about 50 cs more than the master yi uh i had more cs than anyone on the enemy team and actually only the kaiza beat me on my team as far as cs is concerned and i also had a, a ton of kills a ton of assists 10 2 and 8 overall um so yeah i hope this was helpful i hope this helped you understand jungle pathing and understanding uh, where you can move around on the map. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Once again, I apologize for not putting out that much content, um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping in like July, like mid to late July, things will calm down a bit more and I can start putting out a little bit more videos. Um, so if you have any suggestions, if you have any videos that you really want me to make, please let me know. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. This is Randomonium, signing off.